Ring, ring. <laughs> ring, ring. Is it line one? Ring, ring. Hello? Ring, ring. I don't know how this shit works. Hello? Ring, ring. Hello, Puno? New phone, who it is? Hey, Puno, it's your girl, Tony. This doesn't, it. she's on Skype <laughs> or FaceTime <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Tony. Hi, Puno. You're on 1-800-HEY-PUNO. Thanks for having me. <laughs> you told me that you had a baby coming. Yeah, <laughs> a baby boy. And I was already like... <laughs> <laughs> I was doing the leather line for, I want to say, at least six years. And then it was just really difficult to kind of get a good amount of momentum for it yeah. to be sustainable or whatnot. So then I jumped over to this clothing line to uh, head out their production. And then I've been there for two years. So then you're nervous about it, but you were like, I've been thinking about doing lash lifts. <laughs> and I know it's totally different from being a production manager, from owning a leather bag company, but I've always wanted to do it. When you told me that, I had a piece of bread in my mouth and I was just like, oh. <laughs> it made so much sense. So I brought out my calculator. Let's do the math here. Does this make sense financially, hourly, all of that stuff? What do you have to do to get started? First, I know where I can take a course. And it was one day. That class itself helped me build a portfolio of before and after and then a background knowledge of how to approach like a client, kind of walk through it. So it was a good hands-on experience to jumpstart it. And she took the course. The following weekend, she came over to my place and I was uh, client number four. I had never done a lash lift before. What is a lash lift? <laughs> Well, it's just pretty much perming your lashes so that it kind of opens up your face and brightens your eyes. So it's just like an alternative to eyelash extensions. I also didn't think it would work because my lashes are really, really short. I mean, you could describe my lashes. I will not take any offense. <laughs> Well, everyone has different lashes, but for the majority, I found that Asians overall have like a very straight, <laughs> downward facing um, and super stubborn, like they hardly take a curl. So you, it's it's helpful to do these lashes and it benefited me. I have these lashes too. Yeah. And so once I got mine done, I was like, holy crap, if I could find this useful, then surely there's a good number of people that could also make use of this too. Totally. And so yeah. then you did my lashes and it was nuts. It was up, like it was crazy up. More so yeah. than I could ever do with my own lash curler. Right, curling right, right. What is it called? I don't even know yeah. what it's called anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to. <laughs> so I was a believer. And at that same time, um, because I had actually designed your website for the leather bags, I was like, what right. if we just turn it into Lash Lifts by Tony? Yeah. And that night, honestly, I didn't think we would have a complete website walking out of I'm your gonna place. I'm going to go to it right now. So bytony.com. Here it is. This it was becoming real that your leather bag company was over at this point. Yeah, it still kind of stings to realize that it was just it was just my first baby. And, and you were a little worried too about what other people thought. Because you're going to use the same domain and the same Instagram account as well. Yeah, it was just totally different. And you were asking me, you were like, well, what do you think other people are going to feel when they see that it's totally different? Right. I was just like, screw them. <laughs> right. When I asked that question, it, it seemed like it was not even an issue for you. Was, and then from there, it just kind of gave me that clarity to be like, okay, I was just thinking too much into it. I just, I just need to let it go. <laughs> yeah. With Instagram, you went through and literally deleted everything yeah. All the posts that you had. How many? It was like over hundreds of posts. Right. Right. So and I still kept that handle. I mm. still kept um, I still kept that account. And then I deleted everything. It took me a while to figure out what I was going to do with the account too. And then that's when we started working on the website. So then we added your before and afters. These were literally your first clients. 
that night we added the services, we added FAQ and contact, but it was a pretty simple page. And the yep. fact that we already did the design, it was really easy. And so actually added for your book and appointment Calendly. Which has been huge, by the way. It's been so Why helpful. Why has it been helpful? There's just so many great things about that. It, it You could easily schedule an appointment. Yeah. And then on the website, um, you know, it allows me to like follow up with clients to kind of push out those new client profiles and then to even um, remind them to sign a waiver. If you've never seen Calendly before, essentially what it is, it connects to your Google Calendar so that if someone makes an appointment, it'll be added to your Google Calendar and that time will be blocked off and nobody else can make an appointment at that time. Sick. So if you want to add Calendly, to your website, but also keep the same button styles and all that, you're gonna have to add some custom code, which I got for you. So first thing you're gonna do is, I have this custom code here. We have it in the show notes. What I need here is to replace this link. So here's how you find that link. You'll go to the Calendly calendar, and then pick the event or the calendar event type that you want and that's the link that you're going to need. So you don't have to worry about all of this stuff because, you know, who knows what time and what date they're actually going to be looking at this. So I'm just going to take this and then I'm going to throw that in this URL section here. And now you're good. So you want to copy this widget and just to show you what it's doing, it's basically taking the Squarespace class styles so that you don't ever have to worry about styling it again if you ever change what that button looks like. Then in your Squarespace site, so now we're going to add a code block and I'm gonna erase this hello world, paste that widget that we have. And you can see here it says book an appointment. If you wanna change what that word is, you can be like book an appointment. So then you press apply and save. Now this is in preview mode, so if I wanna see what it actually looks like, I'm gonna to go to the website. You can also open up an incognito, and there it is. That is the pop-up widget. If you wanna add a link, like let's add an e a link below, open that up again. And now what you're gonna do is you're going to, you're gonna take that same link, this one, and then you're gonna put it over here, same guy, book an appointment, however you wanna do that. Copy and paste that below. So I'm gonna add code again, because I want it to be right there. Boom. So see how it says book and space an appointment? So that's a break in HTML. So if I remove that, that'll all be on one line, like that. But I want that break. So I'm just gonna add open bracket, br, close bracket. Press save. Do a little refresh on this bad boy. Scroll down. And now you can use Calendly instead of Acuity and uh, have it look all fancy on your Squarespace site. I tried out Acuity and I just really don't like the back end. I feel like it's a little messy. I also don't really like how you have to select dates. Some people like Acuity. I find Calendly is better. I like how it integrates with my Google Calendar, it just seems, it just feels easier. So that's why I use Calendly. But yeah, if you wanna use Acuity, it already exists with Squarespace. But if you wanna use Calendly, there it is. It's a great way to keep your personal life and your freelance or work life all in one Google Calendar. Cause you, time doesn't care. Time is like, uh, yeah, time is time, okay? <laughs> Since we recorded this, Tony has had a baby. So unfortunately, you're not going to be able to book an appointment with her. All right, there you go. And that is how you add Calendly to your Squarespace site. Go and check the show notes for that code snippet and enjoy. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching or, uh, or listening. Don't forget to click to subscribe. Okay, all right. Um, you're still here. That's fine, that's fine, we can do so. We, uh, what do we, what do we got, what do we got? Oh, have you seen this video? Cause that, cause that video, that video is really good. Oh, and if you have any questions, just go to www.ilovecreatives.com backslash 1-800-HEY-PUNO. We'd love to hear your questions and maybe have you on the call 
So yeah, we're waiting for you.